I have a, a quite unique job, and so I'll meet people and I'll tell them I'm a veterinarian and they identify that. They say, oh, because they've taken their dog or cat in to see a veterinarian. I say, well, I'm, I'm a swine only veterinarian. They'll be like, that's really specific. At least half my job is actually training the people that are gonna be with the pigs tomorrow to do you know, what we went through today. I have a lot of clients with multiple tens, even hundreds of different barns, and somebody else is seeing those pigs every day. If they can think the way I am about the welfare of the pigs and then be able to perform the procedures very well to keep them healthy and making sure that, that that's the safest pork to go to the consumer. Hey Brian, um, wanted to make sure I stopped in today to take a look at, take a look at your pigs. I know I've known Dr. Ross too. for about six or seven years, and um, he's been our primary veterinarian with this facility as long as I've known. He's always got the good knowledge behind himself to make sure that all the animals are just as comfortable as we are that are taking care of them. Well, I think we'll go into room one then. That's just got done recently, yep. Pharaoh. Yeah, right? there's some so, just a few days old in there, so we can check those out. Okay, and that's where we got to really focus on, you know, getting them up and getting them started right. So I think that's... Uh, We've tried to develop a uh, real specific uh, environment, try to find just your envi right environment for the sow and for their piglets. The, the mom sows when they're pregnant, um, gestation length is about 115 days. They'll come in here, we'll load them a few days before they're going to farrow, and then they'll farrow in a, in a room like this. Um, then the babies will be on their mom for about three weeks. We've found a spot for the sow where the sow has water and feed all the time, and that the piglets have an area to run around in as well, providing this environment means they don't have to spend any extra energy warming up or drying off and the mom is very comfortable because she's got food and water all the time she doesn't have to go looking for it it's right there for her so she feels very comfortable laying over and letting them suckle we can see they got uh, pretty pretty good healthy pigs doesn't look like there's much scours on it it's got a good hair coat obviously very bright eyed alert was well, definitely it you know definitely up to mom and eating so very very healthy pig so really that's the kind of pig we're looking for for all of them you know we, we want them all to look like that this whole litter looks like it's getting milked pretty well yeah. actually so she's she was laid over and, and milking well before we disturbed her so that's that's what we want to see the pigs are looking very very healthy today but we want to ensure that they are healthy and they aren't carrying around any diseases that we're trying to eliminate. I call it precision animal health because I'm going to do, you know, only provide the antibiotic, only provide the vaccine that's right for the pig at that time to make it as healthy as possible. When there is pigs that are not doing as, as good as, as their litter mates, uh, we like to treat them with antibiotics. What we want to do is we want to pick up, pick up the pig, you know, um, and uh, make sure we're injecting it right, right in the muscle. The key point, Brian, is making sure you're getting right behind that ear. Because so with this antibiotic, you know, I think we have the right choice here for what we're seeing in, in the farm. I mean, we, we've taken in some tissues and we know kind of what we're dealing with. Antibiotic free to me would be if a pig gets sick, we're not going to treat it. And I, I have a real problem with that because I think the welfare of the animal is much better if we find an ill animal that we treat it with the proper antibiotic so that it gets better. We know when it's down to an acceptable or a low level or not found in that pig. And then we will only market or sell um, and make those pigs for food um, after that withdrawal period is passed. And, and that makes me feel really safe. I was very impressed uh, with the health of the pigs and, and like the direction that the crew is going. We're going to make, continue to make you know, healthy pork because that's, that's the safest pork. I want everybody to understand this is where it came from, this is how it's made, and we feel pretty good about it.